Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn about the by-group processing method. Understanding the by-group processing is closely related to knowing how data step processes during the execution phase. This topic is based on Chapter 4 in Handbook of SAS Data Step Programming Book. The content in this video is built upon the concepts of the Program Data Vector, or PDV. The links to the videos on the PDV are listed below. The data sets that were used in previous chapters only contain one observation or one measurement per subject. Sometimes we will also work with data with multiple observations for each subject. This type of data often results from repeated measures for each subject and is often called longitudinal data. Applications that involve longitudinal data often require identifying the beginning or end of measurement for each subject. This can be accomplished by using the by group processing method. By group processing is a method of processing records from data sets that can be grouped by the values of one or more common variables. These grouping variables are called the by variable. The value of A by variable is called the by value. A by group refers to all observations with the same by value. To utilize by group processing, we need to place A by statement with one or more by variables after the set statement. The input data set also needs to be previously sorted by the same variables. During the by group processing, SAS creates two temporary variables for each by variable, first dot variable and last dot variable. Since first dot variable and last dot variable are temporary variables, they are not sent to the output data set. Both first dot variable and last dot variable are initialized to one at the beginning of the data step execution. For example, this data set consists of five observations containing the values of score for two subjects, A01 and A02. Suppose that the ID variable is the by variable, then there will be two by groups because there are two distinct values for the ID variable. Then, first.id is set to 1 in the PDV when SAS reads the first observation in each by group and is set to 0 when reading the second to the last observation in each by group. Similarly, last.id is set to 1 when reading the last observation in each by group and set to 0 when reading those observations that are not last. When there are multiple variables designated as by variables, A by group would be a group of records with the same combination of the values of these by variables, with each by group containing a unique combination of values for the by variables. For example, if we use ID and score as the by variables, then in addition to first.id and last.id, first.score and last.score will be created in the PDV. There will be four by groups based on unique combination values of ID and score. Suppose that we would like to calculate the total scores for each subject. To create a variable, say total, that is the total score for each subject, we need to initialize total to zero when starting to read the first observation of each subject. Then total can be accumulated by adding the value from the score variable to total for each observation. In the end, we can output the total score when reading the last observation of each subject. Therefore, we need to utilize by group processing and use ID as the by variable. Program 4.1 calculates the total scores for each subject. In this program, the variable ID is used as the by variable, therefore, this data set needs to be sorted first by the ID variable. When the first.id variable equals 1, the variable total is initialized to 0. Then total is accumulated with the value from the score variable by using the sum statement. The subsetting of statement in the program is to control when to output the data, that is when the last.id equals 1. To understand this program better, let's go through the contents in the PDV during the data step execution. At the beginning of the first iteration, underscore and underscore is initialized to 1. Since id is the by variable, two automatic variables, first.id and last.id, are created in the PDV. Both first.id and last.id are initialized to 1 before the first iteration of the data step execution. ID and score variables are set to missing. Total is set to zero, since total is created by the sum statement. Recall that the variable that is created by the sum statement is initialized to zero at the beginning of the data step execution. When the set statement executes, SAS copies the first observation, 
from the previously sorted data to the PDV. Since this is the first observation for the A01 subject, first.id is set to 1. The last.id is set to 0, since this is not the last observation. The by statement is a declarative statement, it doesn't execute during the execution phase. Next, total is assigned to 0, because this is the first observation for A01. The sum statement accumulates the total variable. The subsetting of statement is evaluated to be false, because last.id does not equal 1, SAS immediately returns to the beginning of the data step. That means the contents of the PDV are not sent to the output data set. At the beginning of the second iteration, underscore and underscore is incremented to 2. Both first.id and last.id are retained, because these are automatic variables. ID and score are retained, because these two variables are from the input data set. Lastly, total is also retained, because total is created by using the sum statement. As you can see all these variables in the PDV, retain their variable at the beginning of the second iteration. However, the reasons for retaining the values are different. The set statement copies the second observation to the PDV. Since the second observation is not the first observation for A01, the frist.id is set to 0. This is also not the last observation for A01, the last.id is also set to 0. Since first.id does not equal 1, there is no execution for the if then statement. Total is accumulated with the value from the score variable. Since last.id does not equal 1 in the subsetting of statement, SAS again returns to the beginning of the data step. At the beginning of the third iteration, underscore and underscore is incremented to 3. The rest of the variables are retained. The set statement copies the third observation from the input data to the PDV. The first.id is set to 0, since this is not the first observation for A01. But last.id is set to 1, since this is the last observation for A01. Since first.id does not equal 1, there is no execution. Total is calculated. Since last equals 1, which is true, SAS continues to execute the remaining statements in the data step. Remember this is the rule for the subsetting of statement. Next, SAS reaches the end of the third iteration. The implicit output copies the contents from PDV to the output data. Then, SAS returns to the beginning of the fourth iteration. At the beginning of the fourth iteration, underscore and underscore is incremented to 4, the rest of the variables are retained. The set statement copies the fourth observation from the input data to the PDV. Since this is the first observation for A02, the first.id is set to 1. But this is not the last observation for A02, the last.id is set to 0. Since first.id equals 1, which is true, total is set to 0. As you can see this is a very important step. Without initializing total to 0, when reading the first observation for each person, total would accumulate the values, from the previous subject in the next step. Total is calculated. Since last.id does not equal 1, in the subsetting of statement, SAS immediately returns to the beginning of the data step. At the beginning of the fifth iteration, underscore and underscore is incremented to 5. The rest of the variables are retained. The set statement copies the fifth observation from the input data, to the PDV. First.id is set to 0, since this is not the first observation for A02. But last.id is set to 1, since this is the last observation for A02. Since first.id does not equal 1, there is not execution. Total is accumulated. Since last.id equals 1, SAS continues to execute the remaining statements in the data step. The implicit output copies the contents from PDV to the output data. SAS returns to the beginning of data step to begin the sixth iteration. Since there are no more observations to read, SAS goes to the next data or proc step. Now, let's review what we've learned from this video. In this video, we learned how to identify the beginning, or the end of measurement for each subject, by using by group processing in the data step. 
SAS creates two temporary variables for each by variable during the by group processing, first variable and last variable. These two variables are used to indicate when SAS reads the first or the last observation of each subject. Understanding how by group processing works is closely related to knowing how data step processes during the execution phase. In the example that we've seen in this video, we also reviewed the sum and subsetting of statements. We will see more applications of using by group processing in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates.